Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh How are you kids? Are you all good today? Okay, by the way, do you still remember how to answer how are you today? Alhamdulillah, so amazing, I'm successful, Allahu Akbar, yes, right, right. still remember right? Okay, in this section, Miss Sira would like to explain about sporting talent. Nah, pembahasan kali ini kita tentang olahraga ya. By the way, before Miss Sira explaining more about sports, do you like sports? Apakah kalian suka sports atau olahraga? What sports do the member of your family play? Nah, kalau kalian suka olahraga, biasanya olahraga apa yang kalian gunakan saat bersama keluarga? Uh, before Miss Sira explaining more about sporting talent, Miss Sira would like to say that sport has had been explained by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam many years ago that sport is good for you. Nah, Rasulullah sudah menjelaskan bahwa olahraga juga baik untuk kalian ya. Hal ini bisa dilihat dari uh, from this hadis from Abu Hurairah. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "A strong Muslim is better and more loved." by Allah than the weak one and there is goodness in both hadis riwayat muslim number 2 nah, nah dari hadis ini Abu Rairah berkata bahwa Rasulullah SAW bersabda strong muslim is better nah seorang muslim yang kuat itu lebih baik dan lebih dicintai oleh Allah daripada muslim yang lemah Da, tapi pada keduanya terdapat kedu, terdapat kebaikan. Nah, jadi Allah lebih mencintai umatnya yang kuat. Nah, umat yang kuat tercipta dari mereka yang suka berolahraga. So it means that sport is good for you. Nah, jadi the point is jangan lupa untuk selalu berolahraga. And then by the way more about Sporting talents. Nah, can you see these pictures? Bisakah kalian melihat gambar ini? Nah, they are doing sports. Mereka sedang berolahraga. But what sports and activities here? Nah, olahraga apa yang mereka lakukan di gambar ini? Okay, let's check this. Okay, can you see this one? What is this? Yeah, football. And then B, it is swimming. And the C is gymnastic, uh, rhythmic is gymnastic, and then D is baseball, and then E skateboarding, and then F is diving, and then G is badminton, and then H is judo. Nah, these are kinds of sports, yeah. Jadi ini adalah beberapa macam olahraga, and then. What sports do you do? Nah, olahraga apa yang biasa kalian lakukan? I go swimming every morning. Biasanya aku berenang setiap pagi. And then, my father plays my father plays football. Ayahku bermain sepak bola. And then, my sister do judo every weekend. Saudara perempuanku ber, bermain judo setiap akhir pekan. Nah, for your information. Nah, di sini adalah ada beberapa informasi tentang sport verbs, ya. Yeah? So you can see this. My brother plays football. My brother plays football. Nah, the word play is for ball sup, uh, sports. Nah, kata verbs verb plays digunakan semua olahraga yang menggunakan bola. Nah, kata plays yang berarti bermain biasanya digunakan semua olahraga yang berdas- yang menggunakan bola. And then the second, I go diving. Nah, aku pergi menyelam. For sports which and in in. Nah, go biasanya digunakan untuk olahraga yang berakhiran dengan in di belakangnya. Diving. And then the the third, I do rhythmic gymnastics. Nah, the word do 
Sport for to do digunakan for other sports. Nah, digunakan untuk olahraga yang lainnya. Jadi, place untuk olahraga yang menggunakan bola. Go digunakan untuk olahraga yang berakhiran dengan ing di belakangnya. Sedangkan do digunakan untuk semua jenis olahraga. So, do you get it? So, these are uh, the example for the sentences. What sports do you play? I play baseball. Nah, karena di sini menggunakan kata play, jadi menggunakan olahraga yang menggunakan bola. Then the second, what sports do you go? Olahraga apa yang kalian nikmati? I go swimming. Aku pergi berenang. Nah, karena di sini menggunakan kata go, jadi menggunakan jenis olahraga yang berakhiran dengan ing. And then, what sports do you do? Olahraga apa yang kamu lakukan? I do judo. Nah, karena di sini menggunakan do, jadi menggunakan semua jenis olahraga ya, selain olahraga ing dan menggunakan yang bola. Now, you can there there is a text here. So, it is about Tom Daly. 818, Tom Daly won a bronze medal at the 2012 London Olympics in the 10 meter platform diving. In the crowd, his mom, his young brothers, and his grandparents were there to support him. Nah, ini adalah cerita tentang Tom Daly yang memenangkan tentang uh, medali perak. Yang dimana mamanya, saudara perempuannya, dan nenek kakeknya berada di sana untuk menyemangatinya. After a difficult start, Tom performed some fantastic dives. He was in first place going into the last round, but lost to Kui Bu from China, silver medalist, and David Baudia from USA, gold medalist. Although he won a bronze medal, Tom says, this is like a gold medal for me. It be, it's been a difficult year and I'm just so happy now. Nah. Jadi di sini Tom tidak memenangkan medali emas, tapi dia memenangkan medali perak. Tapi menurut Tom, ini merupakan medali emas untuknya karena tahun itu adalah tahun yang susah, yang tahun yang sulit untuk Tom dan dia sangat bahagia pada waktu itu. And then the third paragraph, paragraf yang ketiga. Tom has been diving since he was 12 years old and has worked very hard to take part in the Olympic Games. He wakes up at 7.30 every day, and after a healthy breakfast, he goes to school for two lessons before he goes to his morning diving sessions at 10.15. After training, he has lunch at 1, and then he goes back to school for a few more lessons. His, af- his afternoon training sessions begins at 5.30, and he finishes at 9.15 in the evening. Nah, jadi ini menceritakan tentang kebiasaan Tom ya. Tom mulai berolah, uh, olahraga menyelam sejak berumur 12 tahun ya. Dan dia sang, bekerja sangat keras. Setiap hari dia bu- bangun pukul 7.30. Kemudian dia pergi sarapan, lalu pergi ke sekolah. Kemudian dia lanjut untuk beraktivitas latihan diving ya setelah itu. And his afternoon training session begins at 5.30. Nah, latihan siangnya dimulai pada pukul 5.30 dan selesai pada pukul 9.13 di malam hari. And then the fourth paragraph. I could not have done this without my family, said Tom. It's been very difficult year for us. Tom's dad died a year before the Olympics and was always his greatest supporter. He always believed that Tom could win an Olympic medal. This medal's for you, Dad, said Tom proudly. Nah, di sini di paragraf keempat, Tom menceritakan kebanggaannya terhadap ayahnya karena yang selalu menyemangatinya. Nah, kemenangannya ini dipersembahkan untuk ayahnya. So, match the heading with the paragraph. Nah, di sini ada topic sentence ya. Can you match this topic sentence to the paragraph? Tom's gold medal, Joy. And then the B, Tom's daily routine. The C, Tom thanks his dad. And then the D, pretends young diving star wins bronze. Nah, okay. How about the matching heading the, with the paragraph? 
Oke, okay, the first paragraph. Kira-kira yang manakah topik sentence yang tepat? Yaps. D. Britain's young diving star wins bronze. Ya. Yeah. Seorang Britannia yang muda yang memenangkan piala perak. And then the second paragraph. Topik sentence yang mana yang cocok? Oke, okay, Tom's gold medal joy. Nah, di paragraf kedua ini menceritakan menurut Tom, meskipun kepandangannya hanya medali perak, tapi menurut Tom ini adalah kemenangan medali emas menurutnya. And then the third paragraph. What is the topic sentence? Oke, okay, Tom's daily routine. Nah, paragraf yang ketiga menceritakan keseharian Tom ya. And then the fourth paragraph. Nah, menceritakan tentang Tom thank his dad. Menceritakan terima kasih Tom terhadap ayahnya yang sudah meninggal. Oke, okay, so this is about true of or false ya. Yeah. This is or ya. Yeah. True or false. Tom's mom supported him at the Olympic. Nah, pertanyaan yang pertama, ini benar atau salah? Tom's mom supported him at the Olympics. Ibunya Tom menyemangati Tom dalam kejuaraan Olympics. Is it true or false? Let's check it. Yeah, it is true. And the second, Tom's won a bronze medal. Is it true or false? Let's check it. Yaps, it is true. And then the third. Tom started diving when he was seven years old. Let's check it. True or false? No, it is false, ya. Yeah, karena Tom started diving when, she, when he was 12 years old, ya. Yeah. And then what about number four? His afternoon training session is over three hours long. Is it true or false? Okay, let's check it. Okay, it is false karena his training session is over more than 3 hours ya. Yeah? From 5.30 until 9.15 ya. Yeah? And then the last, Tom gave his medal to his dad. Is this true or false? Yes, this is true ya. Yeah? Benar ya. Yeah? So, one true, true, false, false, and true. So, okay, if you have any questions to the material or the assignment, you can ask directly to Miss Ira, ya. Okay, that's all about the material today. Thank you for the attention. And Miss Ira, so sorry if I have any mistakes. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.